Good morning guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this morning guys I have a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu competition and for those of you who don't know I do compete in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I've been training for around six months now and I thought I would just use this video as an opportunity to talk to you guys about like how it fits into my routine, how much I love it, um, basically the objectives of the sport so you guys can understand it a little bit more because it's a huge part of my life that I feel like I don't really explain that well um, or at least that much on my Instagram so I'd kind of like to just reflect that in this video so today I have a competition this is like my fourth competition it's a smaller one but I'm kind of nervous <laughs> um, I'm excited but I woke up super on weight this morning I ate breakfast already it's like 9:23, and I'll probably eat like two more times before I step on the mats at three o'clock white belts usually fight a little bit later on in the day so um, I'm feeling really good like if you guys take a look at my physique this morning super lean like I cut a little bit of weight for this comp just to make sure I could eat like throughout the day the morning of but um, I've been eating a decent amount of food so I feel super fueled super ready um, like I said still kind of nervous um, but I'm gonna get some stuff ready to go to get to my competition it's like a two-hour drive from here me and Nick are gonna head up together um, and then I will catch up with you guys in just a little bit after I get everything ready because um, I just want to explain a little bit about the rules the game why I started all that good stuff and then uh, yeah hopefully I win my competition today so that you guys can see how I fight good hopefully uh, but if not everything's a learning experience so with all that being said I'm gonna stop rambling let's hop into the video so real quick I always put my hand up, why do I do that? Okay, so real quick, I just wanted to show you guys what I'm bringing to the competition with me because I think by this being like my fourth comp now, I'm kind of like prepared and know what to bring with me. Um, so basically, I am bringing a crap ton of food just in case. Um, I try to keep the food light in weight, if that makes sense, like the actual weight of the food. Um, so I don't like go overboard before I step on the scale. Um, I'm gonna get there like an hour and a half beforehand so I can weigh in, chill, listen to music, but Basically, I'm just bringing two of the Asian beef and broccoli meals. I just split one of them in half and added some Brussels sprouts, which you guys can see. Um, and then also, it's like a tradition, but I always have a Revival by Jack Cookie before I step on the mats. And then uh, I'm also just bringing a Pop-Tart just in case I need like some extra carbs in case like the match gets pushed back or something like that. I just need to make sure I stay fueled. This is quick <laughs> energy, super big bursts of sugar. Um, so I just bring a Pop-Tart with me. This is the strawberry milkshake one. And then also, um, Body Armor sent these to me like a while ago. I don't drink them that often, but in between matches, guys, I can't even explain to you, like, you exert so much energy in five minutes, your fingers cramp up, everything cramps up, and you need to rehydrate. So I just bring one of these with me, or two of these, just in case, um, for before and after, just to make sure I stay hydrated. So I might actually drink one of these on the car ride up and then save one for in between my matches. And then lastly, the only other thing that I'm bringing with me besides some extra clothes are my geese, which oh my god I got these patched up and I freaking love them um, I think I'm gonna go with white today it's just so clean like look at that Autos is a school that I train at it's like numero uno in the world it's literally the best fucking team on the planet um, so I think I'm gonna bring this one and wear it but I'm gonna bring this just in case um, but yeah about to just get everything ready put it in a bag and then Nick is gonna come over we're gonna drive up to Azusa where I'm competing together um, I fight at three so we have lots of time um, so I will probably answer some questions. I put a question box on the on the gram story for you guys to ask me questions about BJJ. Um, so I'm gonna answer those on the car right up, and then uh, I fight, and hopefully uh, you guys see me win. Let's hope. At least over, please. Who that? Who that? So bad. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Yeah. Okay guys, we are on the road. Um, made a little Starbucks stop for still drinking decaf, so it took them a little bit longer to get my order, but I'm gonna drink this, yikers. Uh, I'm gonna drink this, I'm gonna enjoy it, and then I'm gonna answer the questions that you guys asked me on my Instagram about Jiu Jitsu. Just kind of like explain the whole competition day thing to you guys, so cheers fam. Okay guys, so we are like an hour outside of Azusa, which is where my competition is at. And I asked, or I put a little question box on my Instagram story asking you guys to ask me some questions in regards to BJJ. Um, so first off, what I wanna do is just kind of explain the whole sport to you guys. So the whole entire sport basically on the competitive aspect or like the competitive side of things is 
the objective is to basically score points and submit and or choke somebody so that you win the fight or win by points so it's gonna be a little confusing if you guys see my fight like you might not necessarily know what's going on but eventually basically what I want to do is just get the person to the ground pass them and then submit them or choke them so that's kind of the objective of the game you basically like most white belts will just win by points rather than submissions that's how I've always won in the past um, so my goal today is to actually get a submission or just win that'd be lit too um, but the question I got the most on my Instagram was basically like how do other people get started um, and it's really nerve-wracking at first I honestly thought it was like the weirdest sport in the world because you're literally just like on top of other people and just like touching them. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, I literally have someone's legs wrapped around me. <laughs> but, like, it's not a normal sport. But the, I think what made me keep going with it is, like, I'm so competitive and it's really frustrating because you don't know what you don't know with this sport. So when you start, you obviously suck because you just don't actually know what you're doing. So for me, I was like, shit, I need to get good at this. And I think that's when I kind of got the bug and I was like okay like I just need to keep going with this it also has a lot of lessons in it that I think reflect onto like your actual life um and my professor Andre Galvao like he always talks about this whenever we're in class about how like jujitsu can actually play a, a big role in like discipline and just hard work building a team all that kind of stuff um because while it is a solo sport like you're also helping your teammates while you are in the gym essentially training with them so um i love like that aspect of it and like also like the family aspect of it i've met a lot of friends through doing jujitsu like i traveled to switzerland and israel because of jujitsu which is super cool um so yeah i mean if you want to get started just it's a great place to meet new friends and just jump into it like there's no other thing to it but there's nothing to it but to do it <laughs> so um yeah, that was pretty much like the majority. I started off in Autos because I actually had a client who trained there and she convinced me to go in and try a class and two of the professors who had seen me in there actually asked me to come in and try and then once I tried it and I sucked at it, it's basically when I just kept going and going. So yeah, that's pretty, the object, pretty much the objective of the sport and like how I got into it and why you should get into it. Um, but yeah, the next time I see you guys, I'm hopefully kicking some ass. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you guys there. Let you know how it goes. Peace and blessings. Babe, do you have anything to add? No. Wow, look at that fucking tries. <laughs> can, can, we, can we not right now? <laughs>
because I got first place. I'm so happy right now. Um, it's so funny. I was like talking to my parents like on the way, like FaceTime them on the way to the car walking and I literally like don't even remember my fights because that's just how quick they go by. So I'm gonna rewatch them and like I'll definitely show them to my professors and like get feedback and stuff like that from them. Um, I had Ricky, one of the purple belts from my school, coaching me which was really nice to have him help. Um, but yeah, wow, I'm really happy right now. But I go get some friggin' food and um, friggin' snow. Um, but yeah, we're probably going to BJ's. No, we're definitely going to BJ's. We're definitely, <laughs> we're definitely going to BJ's. He needs food. I just want food and a bazooki. So <laughs> let's go. <laughs>